Hi there, this is Sagar from sagarmora.in and in this video, I am going to explain you what is jQuery, what are the features of jQuery and how to use jQuery into your document. jQuery is fast and concise JavaScript library created in 2006 with nice motto, write less, do more. jQuery simplifies HTML document traversing, event handling, animating and Ajax interactions for rapid web development. jQuery is a JavaScript toolkit designed to simplify various tasks by writing less code. jQuery has many features and few of them are DOM manipulation, event handling, Ajax support, animations, lightweight, cross-browser support, and latest technology. You should already know a little bit of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript before writing jQuery code. To start with jQuery, you should have a code editor and a browser. Create a new HTML file into your root directory to start with jQuery. Make sure the extension is .html only and not any other file format. Edit your file into your code editor. In my case, I am using Notepad++ as my code editor. Write the basic HTML structure on which you can perform jQuery operations. So here is our HTML structure ready with us. You can go to jQuery.com to download jQuery library. Click on the download button to download the jQuery file. It will prompt you to download compressed and uncompressed version of jQuery. So I would like to download compressed version. Click on the link and the file will get downloaded. After the file gets downloaded, you should simply move the file into your root directory. To include jQuery file, you should write script tag. Inside the script tag, you should write type attribute. The attribute value would be text slash javascript. Then you should write the SRC which is source. SRC is a source which holds the path of the file. Make sure that you close the script tag properly, otherwise it won't work. Some people prefer to include javascript library before the body closing tag. And some people prefer it to include it in head section. Do not confuse between these two methods. It's all depend on what type of outlook you are looking for and what type of structure you have. So take an example of a slider. If there are multiple high quality images coming from other servers into your document, then in that case, the image loading time would take much than the expected. So if you have included your JavaScript into head section and if you fire the event to start the slider, before the images are getting loaded, the slider will start and it will look odd. So to prevent this situation, if we move this file before body closing, then and if we write our JavaScript code, after that the code will run only and only when the document has fully loaded. So in the example of slider, it will load all the images first and then it will trigger the function to start the slider and it will run as expected. Make sure that you write your jQuery code into script tag only after including the jQuery file above the jQuery code. So sequence does matter here. I will also include type attribute here because it is a proper way to write the JavaScript. jQuery syntax is quite simple. You can start with dollar symbol and inside this you can write document after that dot ready function and inside this you can write anonymous function which will execute the code when the document has loaded. Let me show you how jQuery works by simply giving few examples. So let's take an example of h1 tag. I have written three headings in our document. Now we will go ahead and do something with these three headings. So let's say if I want to hide these three headings when the document has loaded, then in that case I can write the code like this. Like the selectors in CSS, we can write the selectors here in jQuery. So in our case, it is h1 tag. So if I were to hide it, I will write hide method. Let me save and refresh the page. Yes, it got hidden. To see the effect, we can give the seconds into the method as a parameter. Now, when I refresh the page, we will be able to see the duration of hide effect. Yes, so as expected, it is hiding these three headings with duration of three seconds. Let's say if I want to show it again, then in jQuery, you need not to write the code again in next line. jQuery supports chaining. It means that you can start writing your methods appending to the previous method. 
if I want to show the paragraphs again, I will write the show method. And I would like to give the duration as 3 seconds here again. So, when I refresh the page, it will show me the output as hide effect is getting applied and again the show effect is getting applied with the duration of 3 seconds. So this was the example of how we can perform the operations on document.ready event. Let me write click event example. Before doing that, I would like to give you a tip regarding this dollar symbol and document.ready event. Instead of this document.ready event, there is a shorthand method in jQuery. You can remove these words till dollar symbol and it will perform as it is. Let me refresh the page and show you the output. So this is the shortcut way to write document.ready event. So the second tip is instead of dollar symbol, you can write jQuery keyword here to resolve the conflict. So the reason why I am telling you to use jQuery keyword instead of dollar is because if you have included more than one library into your document and if another library also uses dollar symbol to initiate the methods, then there is a chance that it might get conflict. And to resolve the conflict, there is a method in jQuery which is no conflict method and you can also use jQuery keyword to resolve that conflict. Okay, so let's see click event example. So we have performed this hide and show operations on document.ready. So instead of this, so suppose if I want to hide any of these headings when I click on it, then in that case, I will write something like this. So jQuery is a start function. So jQuery is the keyword that you need to write. Then the selector. Here selector is h1 tag. It works similar to CSS select. Here we want to execute our functionality only and only when we click on these headings. In that case, we can write click function. Inside this method, we have to write same anonymous function which we have written here in the document.ready function. So anonymous function I need to write. Then inside that anonymous function, I can write my code. So to hide a particular heading on which we have performed the click operation, we can write jQuery and this keyword. So this is the keyword which refers to the current element and then we can hide that element with the duration of 3 seconds. So let's refresh the page and see the output. So I am going to click on the second division and the expected result is it should hide itself. So let me click on this and yes it got hidden with duration of 3 seconds. So this is how you can start writing your jQuery code. Hope you like the video. If you like the video click on like button. If you have any feedback write down in comment section below. Subscribe to my channel for more upcoming videos. If you have already subscribed click on bell icon to get notifications. Spread this knowledge by simply sharing this video link with your friends and family. And finally. Thank you for watching, stay tuned, be technical.